and welcome back uh, my dear friends for part 2 in the first part we created this uh, background uh, cool looking background uh, this cool effect you see this uh, has a good movement so in this part in this part uh, what we will do we will create uh, one text uh, I will create a text here uh, for example Sahak CG to Yules from here I will change the text Yeah, I have choose this uh, text. This is my favorite text. So this is uh, the size is very big. So we will uh, make it uh, small. From here also we can make it small like this. And I will make it more smaller to fit between these two grids. I think this is good for me so the text color we want it very white and I will give him a border of black to its get more depth and uh, I will animate my text whenever it reach to to this two second I will apply uh, one transition called linear wipe so from here we will make it minus 90 So if now you will, yeah, then we will give it a little bit feather. So when it reach to a second, uh, uh, two seconds, we will. Sorry. Here uh, we will uh, uh, check this uh, stopwatch. And when it's going to 10 frames, shift plus page down after 10 frames, this will appear my text. So before that, the text is not appeared. So now my text is appearing after 2 seconds. And I will uh, duplicate my text, control D. I will move it up here and make the size bigger by pressing S I will make the size to something like this and now we will play with the blending option so toggle switches blending option add no multiple no so we will play uh, you can play with the different uh, uh, different blending modes here uh, whatever I think this will uh, look very nice for me overlay and I will uh, bring it to out of the screen here and I will jump to two seconds and I will uh, keyframe the position by pressing P I will keyframe the position and I will take it to end of the uh, composition I will move this one to cross the screen
you will just take it out of screen so you will achieve this and uh, you will make uh, one more copy uh, so this uh, this one I will make it control D another copy you will take that copy also here and press the S for the scale and you will scale it same like the top one like this yeah. so this one we will bring it from this side and we will press the P for the position uh, click the stopwatch sorry control Z and we will come to 2 seconds now we will press the stopwatch we will go to end of the screen uh, sorry end of the composition and you will just bring it by pressing and holding the shift you can take it exactly in the same line so uh, one thing uh, you will also take the blending mode for this one also overlay so now if you will take a ramp preview we will get this uh, text moving around the screen just like this yes so what we can do now uh, we will uh, so we will close everything and now I'm going to create one another composition and this uh, one composition the same uh, settings everything and now we will bring the comp1 into this new composition like this and uh, I will create one solid and this solid uh, we will apply one effect called uh, uh, noise in grain and fractal noise for the fractal noise the basic we will uh, take it to the uh, rocky and uh, this uh, noise step we will take its spline we will play a little bit with the contrast contrast and also this brightness we will bring it down we need something like this and just uh, this uh, layer I will pre-comp and move it to another uh, new uh, attributes uh, so now uh, on this uh, uh, first composition uh, I will apply one effect uh, called uh, this card dance card dance so just you this card dance you will apply on the first comp here in the uh, gradient layer 1 we will take this uh, gray solid this one and you will mm, just uh, hide this one uh, so now here we will open the uh, this 
z position and x rotation these two here we will take intensity and here also we will check this intensity one so now you saw we got something like this uh, now my friend uh, one thing which is uh, very important I'm going to show you so here we will make everything zero this one also zero and this one also zero to see our exactly here we have a row 9 in column 12 and here we have uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and also we have 10 this one if you will make this value equal to this value so we will get we will uh, break exactly this one column or row F for example now if I will this is uh, not matching exactly what we want so if I will make this one also 10 and this value also 10 so now you will see the result exactly the pieces is breaking so now I will go to two seconds and I will make keyframe for this multiplier and also for the rotation these two you can note it I will make this Z position something to 24 24 in this one to something 680 this is for rotation 680 will be working good sorry my friend uh, in the two seconds in the two seconds we made the keyframes and we will come to we will move this CTC for the um, to the beginning of the composition now we will give this value sorry my friend for uh, double job so 24 and this one something to 600 something yeah 6 something above 600 now when you will play you will receive this cool effect yes So now we, we got this cool this cool looking effect my friends so this is the um, second part my friend uh, we created this one this uh, uh, cool looking uh, uh, breaking other breaks so in the next part we will uh, uh, we will create the camera movement and also uh, we will make another videos this is the first so uh, be with me and follow uh, for the next tutorials this this was the second tutorial and we will have one more last tutorial of this series we will animate the camera and we will uh, uh, create the transition for this uh, how to add the photo and see you in the next part